This is what the autonomous driverless postbus vehicles look like, cute but also revolutionary. Two of these buses are about to do the rounds in Sion, firstly without passengers in a closed-off area, later they'll travel downtown. They were built by French vehicle manufacturer Navia and are operated by Post Auto. For us, it's important to be involved because there's a convergence between individual and public transport. We don't know how things are going to shape up, how things will look in a few years. We're doing these tests so that we don't miss out on anything. The autonomous vehicles were first programmed and tested at the Federal Institute of Technology in Lausanne, EPFL. Electric shuttles underwent stress tests on the university campus. The shuttles travel at speeds of up to 20 kilometers per hour and drive from bus stop to bus stop, or they can be halted on request. Thomas Sauter from the Zurich University of Applied Sciences says it's high time that bus companies embraced the new technology. In the future, we'll want to travel from A to B, from door to door. That's what public transportation networks will have to deal with. At the moment, I tend to travel from station to station, but with this new automated system, I can go from door to door. Public transport bosses will have to see how they can offer this service. The present separation between public and private transportation is being whittled down. Both Google and Uber are said to be developing driverless vehicle taxicab services. Feeling the pressure, public transport companies have been carrying out their own tests with driverless buses. As part of a European research project, four of them have been in operation since October in Trikala, Greece, running between bus stops. People were skeptical at first, but now they seem to enjoy the shuttles. At first I thought, a driverless bus? How can that work? But now I enjoy it, and I use it often as it regularly passes through my neighborhood. But it remains to be seen how well driverless vehicles will be able to bridge the gap between the last stop of public transport and the final destination of the user.